Hello everyone and in today's video we shall see how to rotate axis labels in Seaborn. So let's get started. So create a new Python 3 and I have got a new notebook wherein we'll explore the data and we'll see how to go about it. So this is a planet's data in Seaborn which I'll tell you how to load and then we'll start it. So what you do is you import c1 as okay sns and make an object and i call this object as suppose uh, planets and here i will sns dot load i will tell sns to load the data set which data set and this data set is called as planets with this name only and i will also load the first five I'll see the first five entries of it so you can see this first five entries and you can just go ahead and just also if you want you can quickly see the shape of your data that is 1035 rows and six columns as you can see these columns now we have to see firstly we have to plot it and see simply I'll go and plot some years okay that's with SNS let's just plot the year so what I do is I will simply write here planets and in that go to the column year and what I want is I want sns dot count plot and you count plot of this planets and the column year okay hit shift enter and it would be plotted on matplotlib axis because Seaborn has been built upon matplotlib axis and this is uses matplotlib. So as you can see this plot and you will find that this year is overlapping and I cannot see visibly as to and clearly as to which year is this bar indicating this. So what I do is here only I will just make an object and I will call it as YR suppose I can name it as YR you can name it anything and here I will set the X axis because I want to set this X axis right so I will write here dot set X tick labels right and I will also tell it to get x ticks label because I want the same x ticks, right? I don't want to change it. So I'll see, I'll set here label. Okay, spelling is right and I call it. And you set the rotation as per what you want. So I set the rotation equals to suppose 45 and I give a semicolon to avoid any text like this and we go ahead with this so you can see this the rotation but still it isn't if it is not clear what you do is set it as 50 okay right and if you want to set it more like something like this so you go ahead and do this 90 so you can get it perfectly 90 degree being tilted and this is how you set your x text label in SNS. Now, there's another way where you can find problem when you have got something like, let's go and plot it and you will understand it better. So what I do is I just go and plot again with a count plot. I plot a data, oh sorry, in data I give as planets. Okay, and here what I do is I, on x axis I give one of my column called method and I plot it okay so there's some attribute error I think I have x equals to method and dot count plot wait a minute all right okay I don't have to use this in a string this is simply being accepted sorry so what happens here is that on x-axis again I'm not able to understand what has been written so to make it more visible more clear 
what I do is I will go ahead and create something like this sns dot I'll store it in an object called suppose ca and in that I will have it or let me call it method and in that I will go and again plot the same thing okay control C I'm just copying it to show you what extra I have done and what I do is a gear that M I'll take my above object and then what I'll do is set again I'll take this X tick labels and here I will take again I will tell it to get X tick right labels and let's set the rotation as 50 and see what happens so now you see this I have not placed the semicolon here so I am getting all these things so what I do is but I got the plot right so what I do is I just put a semicolon to avoid all that text and I get something like this all right so what I do is to avoid this I will add something called horizontal alignment okay horizontal alignment equals to let it be right okay my uh, spelling is horizontal and alignment is right yes so when I do this horizontal alignment as right I will get these labels shifted towards right and what was previously the case was something like this previously the case was something like this so what I did I shifted these these rotations these labels towards a little right okay another way if you don't want to use this horizontal labels what you can do is you can just set this x takes rotation to something like you know 75 or so okay so if you set this as 75 if it's not working let it be like 89 okay then also fair enough you can just get it okay so you can either set this alignment or you can use rotation or you can use both depending on your need now there's one more thing which you can just avoid using this thing is to plot x-axis on y-axis a smarter way to do this so what you can do is simply just just take this as an s dot con plot and plot it here right and instead of x here write y and see what happens so you don't have so there's no need of uh, you know rotation on this y-axis because already the things are very clear that's radial velocity its count is somewhere more than 500 imaging is like less than 100 or so and so you can just set see this and this is how you set this rotation x sticks labels in sns right okay so this was it for this video stay tuned for four more interesting videos thank you